guys, it's Emma, and welcome back to Creature Feature. And today I'm taking out someone a little bit more cuddly. His name is Trouble, and as you're going to learn, uh, he lives up to his name. This is Trouble. He is a ferret. A lot of people, um, when they see ferrets, aren't really too sure what they are. They're like, oh, it's a snake, cat thing. <laughs> no, um, he's part of the Mastilidae family, so that means these little dudes, as they look, mm, thank you for kisses, thank you, are related to not just weasels, but a whole variety of really interesting animals. These guys are related to skunks, um, badgers, otters, wolverines, um, ermine, minks, all sorts of uh, little interesting creatures. They are completely domesticated, so they live with us. You're not going to find um, a ferret like this in the wild. They're completely dependent on living with people. And um, they've been that way for about a couple thousand years. It believes they originally come from an odd little critter called a polecat, a European polecat. And they originally bred to hunt mice. And as you've noticed, of his, uh, whoa, <laughs> his flexibility here and the fact that if he can put his head through it, he can put the rest of his body through it. So these little guys are incredibly, incredibly good at catching uh, little quick critters. However, if you have one of these guys as a pet, um, they do love to go through anything they're not supposed to. Like I said, his name is Trouble, and he tends to live up to his name very, very well. In fact, the word ferret actually comes from the Latin word ferritus, and that means little thief. Um, they're a really, really fun little pet. A couple quick things about them, though. Number one, uh, he's a little bit stinky. It's not because Trouble never has a bath. It's because ferrets are covered in a musk. And that's a little bit like a ferret or cologne or perfume, and he's going to use that to attract the attention of other ferrets. Um, unlike their wild counterparts, the ferrets are actually a pretty sociable little creature. They love to play with one another. They need a lot of human interaction. Um, yep. <laughs> These little guys are also, um, they're pretty much all or nothing. So when Trouble's not uh, running amok and getting into all kinds of mischief and going everywhere he's not supposed to be, these little dudes are sleeping. Um, ferrets can sleep up to 12, even 14 hours a day. I'm very, very jealous of them. <laughs> and actually, it's funny right now, Trouble's actually getting a little sleepy. Give me sleepy. Give me Thank you. <laughs> um, however, when they get super, super excited, they'll do something called the weasel war dance. Um, these little dudes will actually start to spaz out, they'll actually start to hop back and forth. It's uh, super, super adorable. And uh, that is it for our creature feature. Say bye, trouble. Yay! <laughs> Alright guys, thanks. See you next time.